Hi, welcome for our RTL online training and placements in Oracle Cloud, Finance, Human Capital and Supply Chain Management, as well as in Fusion Technical. Today, we are going to discuss one important question, which uh, in the interviews regularly they will be asking. In Human Capital Management, what are the set ID objects? What are the different set ID objects? Or reference data set objects we have in Human Capital Management? We know that reference data set is one of the organization, like logical uh, security provider, which will be used to assign the objects to the business units. Generally, this RDS we will find in all the models. It's not only for human capital management or finance. We will find even in supply chain management as well as in CRM other models also. But mainly when we are working with the human capital management, we'll come across with the four options. There are four objects which regularly uh, we will be working when we are working with human capital management uh, setups. What are those uh, four objects? We have mainly job. Let me note it down in the notepad here. Then we have location and then we have grades and then we have departments. Then we have departments. These four we call it as a set ID objects. Whenever you try to create these four objects, there will be a mandatory field. Select set, select department set or location set or grade set or uh, job set. Set is nothing but a reference data set. We'll call it as a set ID object also. We call it as set ID object also. Okay. So whenever we are working with human capital management, we'll be interacting with our client and gather the requirement. Whenever we try to work with these four objects, we have to ask our client, do you want to assign the job for all the business units or you want to assign for specific business units? If client says that if they want to assign for all the business units, then we will be using common reference data set. This common reference data set is a built-in reference data set. This is built-in reference data set provided by Oracle. So the moment when we define this object and assign that object to the common reference data set, then that object is going to be associated with all the business unit. But if client says that I want to create some job, for example, there is a job called sales specialist. Now, client says that this specialist job is only for few business units. I don't want to assign for all the business units. Then we cannot use this common RDS. What we have to do is we are supposed to create a custom reference data set. We are supposed to create a custom reference data set. Nothing but a new reference data set. Custom is nothing but a new. Custom is nothing but a new. New reference data set we have to create and assign this reference data set to the different business units, like whatever the business units you would like to attach this particular job, then we have to assign this reference data set to those business units. Let me show you this. This is very important. In the interviews, they'll ask us, what is reference data set? Reference data set is an organization, logical organization, which we will be using to assign the objects to the business units. Or we can say this is set ID concept or security, which we will be using to refer some set of objects to the business units. What are the different set ID objects we have? Four different set ID objects we have. Job, location, grade, department. Okay. Whenever we open reference data set, there will be a lot of other objects also, but those are related for financials and supply chain management and other domains. Okay. Let me show you where do we do that. Whenever we go for the task called manage business unit, when we try to work with the business unit here, manage business unit, this task we will be using to create new business unit. And this task is used to assign the reference data set to the business unit in the name itself. See, set assignment to the business unit. You are trying to assign this reference data set. We are trying to assign this reference data set to the business unit. The name of the task itself is a 
business unit set assignment. The set is nothing but a reference data set. Let's select uh, your business unit, whatever you are working. Let's say you are working for US two business units and choose your business unit here. The moment when you try to work with the reference data sets with your uh, business units, there will be a lot of uh, objects it will be showing that. There we can go for choose the human capital management objects, whatever we have. Let me refresh the page. Sometimes uh, this is a demo instance. It will be refreshed. And find, choose the business unit here. And we can find here reference data object. As I said, there will be a number of reference data objects, but those all, for example, cancellation reasons like channel adjustment types and claim reasons, those all related for account receivables, collection setups, customer account, customer account site. Those are not related for human capital management. When it comes for human capital management, as I said, there will be only four objects. What are that? This is department. Okay, this is department. We have got some department reference data set. After that, which one? Grade. Grade reference data set. By default, common set will be there. At the time of creating this business unit, whatever we given default uh, RDS, it comes automatically. We can find again, you can also search from here. No need to go for navigate here. There is option called filter, query by example. And first one is department. This comes for under human capital management. Then we'll get it a job here. Yeah. Job reference data set. And then we'll find grade. After that, we'll find uh, location. We'll find here. Okay. So now we'll see how we can create one job for our reference data set. Let me create one reference data set. Now, client is asking us to create a separate reference data set for sales specialist job and assign to business units. Now, we have to create a new reference data set. I can't use this uh, built-in. There is a built-in reference data set called common. Generally, Oracle has provided two types, but uh, we don't work with this enterprise. At this point of time, Oracle has not given this enterprise set anywhere. Maybe in future, if Oracle Cloud allows multiple enterprise structures, that time maybe this enterprise set might be useful. But at this point of time, we'll not be using this. We'll have only one talk about that as a common set. Now we are going for custom reference data set. In the sense, we are trying to create a new reference data set. I'm trying to use here, it is Sony job reference data set. The Sony job reference data set, I would like to keep all my jobs in this reference data set and assign this to the business unit. Let me create a job here. Now go to the task. Task name is uh, manage job or just search for job task here. Now let me create a job here. Whenever we try to create a job here, see job set. It is a set ID object. The moment when we try to create a job, system will ask us, you want to assign this or associate with any business unit or all the business unit. If it is all business units, by default, we'll find common set. But I don't want to assign to all the business units. Okay. So I would like to go for assign to the particular business units. Choose the reference data set. And I'm mentioning that it is, a, you can have either one job all multiple job then have either one or multiple jobs here and this is uh, the job sales specialist which i have created and i have assigned for uh, this job reference data set and i'm going to assign this job reference data set whatever we have created that we are assigning to the business units whatever the business units you want to assign for example if client says that I want to assign this particular uh, job for three business units, then we have to choose one by one business unit and assign the reference data set. 
If client says that, let's create this job for all the business units, it's very simple. Just create a job, select common reference data set, your job is done. Your job is going to be available for all the business units. Okay, let's complete this task. Once we create a job, we are supposed to search for the job because sometimes approvals might have configured. We need to cross check. Is it uh, auto approval or are there any approvals pending that we are supposed to check? What we can do is let's go back and uh, search for the job. We'll come to know it here. Yes, it's done. We got a result in the sense it has been approved successfully. Okay. Let's go for assign this reference data set. You can have either one job or multiple jobs in that reference data set, in that reference data set. Now I'm assigning this to two business units. I would like to assign this reference data set for multiple business units. We are already in the scope of US2 business units. Let's go for it. Let's go to the task here. Sometimes this page will not be populated. Just refresh the task page. Very rare case. Now open this task here, manage business unit. Search for the object called job. And here I'm going to assign the reference data set, whatever we have created. So in this reference data set, whatever the jobs we have, that will be assigned for this business unit. I want to assign this to another business unit. How we have to do? Again, we have to go to scope and search for your business unit, whatever business unit you would like to assign this particular. Let's say I want to assign for this AK business unit. Let's go for here, save and close. Choose this reference data set here and go for save and close. This is how it will work. This is uh, one of the important question in the interviews they will be asking us. What are the set ID objects in human capital management? There are multiple objects, reference data set objects, but when it comes for human capital management exclusively, we have only four. Job, location, grade, and department. These four are set ID objects. And this is how we will be able to create a reference data set and assign this object to the reference data set and go for assign this set to the business unit. Whenever you create a job in common set, we don't need to do any other setup. For example, let's say you created a job here, something called uh, cashier. Now client is asking, there is a job called cashier that I want to assign for all the business units. I don't want to restrict for specific business unit. Then choose set as common set and select the name of uh, whatever the name your client would like to know, the name and code that we can go for specify and go for complete. There are a lot of other options that you might have learned in human capital management training each and every field and radio button check boxes are very important. We'll search for the task here. And Sony cashier is created in which reference data set? It's done in common set. It means this is for all the business units, no restrictions. So we don't need to do any, anything here, but when it comes for custom reference data set, so this job or multiple jobs you can create in this reference data set. This reference data set, again, you have to assign to the business units, whatever you want to give the permission, whatever you want to give the permission. That's what we are supposed to do. It. Okay. Thank you. I'll come up with another interview questions and uh, answers. Please subscribe for our YouTube channel and please share to your friends and colleagues who are working in Oracle Cloud in all the technologies we are providing and anybody is looking for job support or interview preparation, mock interviews, interview clearing, and the best real-time training, especially when it comes for preparing for interview point of view and our Hyderabad office. Both the online and offline is available. You can come up and meet us and you can find our WhatsApp number in this uh, videos itself. You will find, please contact. Thank you.